Hi everyone, hey it's Diane. Today we're going to be talking about calla lilies from seed. Have you guys ever grown them? I have never grown calla lilies in my area, Zone 5 here. But I, there was a friend on YouTube, Bernard, and I'll put his channel up here. Make sure you check him out and subscribe to his channel. He sent me some seeds of calla lilies. He grows them in his area. And he wanted me to try and grow them out and see how they do here in the Midwest. Now one thing about calla lilies from seed, they take a little while to germinate. Uh, they have to be lifted in the fall here uh, in our area. And from seed, I believe it takes up to three years to flower. So that's something you're gonna have to be patient with. But I think it'll be fun to experiment with and I hopefully I can, you know, share this with you today to help you, you know, to show you that you can collect the seeds of the calla lilies in the fall and uh, save them over and then start them early early the following season so i'm going to show you something i started these in the paper towel method and i was almost ready to give up on it because it just takes a little while for them and i gotta show you how they did i'm pretty excited only did a few i have more to do and i'm going to show you some different seeds that he gave me and what they look like um so this is going to be kind of just kind of a fun thing to to do and to try and i hope you enjoy it the first I'm gonna, thing I'm going to do is to show you what he sent to me. Um, there is some variegated calla lily seeds, green leaves with white areas. This has got a white flower. I'm going to show you, show you here what the seeds look like. Now this is after he took the coating off of them. That's what the calla lily seeds look like right there. I'm actually going to start some more in the paper towel method. And then he also sent me some non-variegated solid green leaves with pink flower. So those sound really, really pretty. Same type of seed. They look the same. But here's, the, here's what they look like before he takes, some, he takes the seed out of the pod, or so to say. I want to show this to you. And I would imagine it's a little tricky to get these out. But here they are. He wanted to let me know what they look like. Isn't that cool? So if I wanted to, I would probably, you know, spend some time getting these off. Because you have to take them out of these little pod things before they'll germinate. And you want them to get like the ones you just seen. So I wanted to show you what to look for when you're collecting your calla lily seeds. Pretty neat, huh? Now, calla lilies, you know, you see them a lot at uh, in, in bouquets and in flower shops. and But, you know, I have not grown them. I've heard a lot about them. I've had a lot of people request for them. And, you know, I am going to try to grow them. And I don't know how well they'll do indoors. So if anybody knows, let me know on that. Because I might just try to grow them indoors for a little while. And then maybe grow some outdoors so they can you know, grow their little bulbs, and like I said, they'll have to be lifted in the fall. But I started these February 4th. These are the green ones. February 4th, 12 seeds. Uh, they didn't have no heat heating mat or anything like that, but they did have some light on them and sunlight on them. And these have been germinated a few days. Check it out. I did 12, and every one of them germinated. Every one of them germinated. I'm going to try to get you a little closer there so you can see them. Look at that. Every one. Look at this one right here. This one here. Just about all leafed out, isn't it? But I'm going to plant these already. I mean, I could wait. But since I want to get this video done today, I'm going to plant these. So Bernard, all of them germinated, all 12. So for sure, I am going to start some more um, of, the different, of the different variety I have. And thank you so much, Bernard. I really appreciated those seeds. I love to try new things that I've never grown, and it's a great thing. These guys like to be in a sunny area, but if you're like in a hot, hot region, growing them outdoors... They do like some shade part of the day. And from my knowledge, they do winter over in zones. It says zones 9 to 10, but I've seen also where some people are 
wintering wintering them over in in a uh, little less zones uh maybe eight down to seven even so i really don't know that um if anybody you you grow them in your area and you're in uh, the zone seven through ten let me know about it you know i you know this like i said this is new so it's just very cool so what i plan on doing here is I'm just gonna plant them and i want you guys to follow me on this because i think it's really neat to try different things all right and it's really fun to sh that people share seeds with you uh, plants that you've never grown before so that's pretty exciting and this is all I'm going to do. Since this one here is really leafed out already, you can see the root and the leaves coming out of the seed right there. I'm just going to very carefully set it down in. Now, I read that they like to be on the moist side somewhat. So what I'll do is put a dome plastic lid on this. These that are not out all the way. We're just gonna very carefully make a little indention in the soil. And I'm just gonna bury them just very, very slightly. I want light for germination. I was told was best for these. And these have had lighting in the paper towel method. I did not put them on a heating mat, which maybe would have speeded the progress up. So from February 4th to today's 26, and I'd say they've been sprouted here a couple days already. 22 days, 20 to 22 days it took them to sprout. You know, got to start them early. But some of these were a little black on the on the, the seed pod, like this one right here. Had some black on it, and I didn't know if it was going to be okay, but it sprouted. Stid really well. Now these should be fine, and I hope, you know, I'll be updating you on them as they start leafing out a little more. But isn't it exciting to see uh, something that you've never grown? This one's barely, barely coming, but I'm going to stick them in the soil anyway. And these guys are going to have lighting 16 hours, 8 off. We'll just see how they do. Maybe in a week we'll be recording again. So I just wanted to share that with you guys today. Get them all planted in. Water them in. From there, I'll put a plastic dome on. Put them under lighting. And you guys wish me luck on this. Anybody's growing cow lilies, any information would be wonderful. All right, I'm going to start some solid green cow lilies with the pink flower. And I just wet the paper towel down. These are like really hard, hard seeds. And I'm going to wet this down good, as I did. Fold it over, like so. And then I'm going to stick them in a plastic bag. And I'm going to relabel that. Today is February 26th. And this is a solid green. Pink flower. All right, going to leave it here under lighting. You guys, you can do a lot of your seeds this way. Uh, this way is a good way to test for germination too. And it's just simple. You know which ones, which ones germinated for you. So all you got to do is take those out and plant them. You won't be waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for seeds to germinate and wondering why they're not germinating. So there they are. Calla lilies and the hostas I done earlier on another video. Just going to set them there and we're going to watch them every day. We're going to check on them. And one thing about being under this dome lid, they'll stay moist. I won't have a chance of losing them. Once they get rooted well, then, or even before, I'll probably take that dome lid off. Just kind of watch them every day and see how they do. Hi everyone, today's March 4th. We just want to show you the update on the calla lilies from seed. It's pretty exciting. Are you guys ready? Check it out. Check that one. They're all growing, all 12. This one's just sprouting over here. But look at that. Very neat to see them growing from seed. And they're doing really good. I still got them under the dome lids to keep the moisture in. But I wanted to give you that update on them that they're doing wonderful. 
Hi everyone, hey, it's April 1st today, 2013, and we're going to conclude my calla lilies video. Right here in front of you is the variegated calla lily with the, it's going to have a white flower. And I did these with the paper towel method, and as you can see, they're ready to plant. And I'm going to get these planted. Now I planted these in the paper towel, I placed them in the paper towel February 26th, and today's April 1st. So they've been in there for a while, and it's just, you know, I just haven't been down here to check on them. But they're fine. They look just fine. They're going to get planted in soil today. So I'm really pleased that the cow lily seeds that Bernard gave me, and I'm going to give you his, his uh, YouTube channel here. I want you guys to check him out and subscribe to his channel. I really appreciated these. I've never grown them before, but it's been... It's been a great experience. It's been fun. All right, guys. So here's my cow lilies that I started way back. I transplanted these on 226, 2013, and as you can see, for some of them they look a little burnt on the edges a little bit. I might have been from some of the fertilizer I use. So I'd be a little careful, but they're doing really good, aren't they? Look at those. So you can see they're progressing. I got to make sure I keep these moist down here. And I think they're going to do fine. Uh, like I said, these do not, it sounds like they do not flower for three years from seed. So, you know, it might be kind of a, one of those things. We'll see how it goes. If I continue on growing them, grow them outside through the summer and then bring them in in the winter. If I do that a couple seasons, I'm finally probably going to get some blooms. You're just going to have to be one of them things you have patience with. We're going to open this bag. These are the solid green with pink flowers. I threw these in a paper towel too, and I haven't looked at them for a little while. So let's see how they're doing. Look at that. Pretty neat. Oh my gosh. Look at all those. <laughs> wow. Some are stuck just a little bit, and they're not bad. I can pull them away very carefully not to hurt the roots. So what do you think of all those? Make sure I get them all. Let me make sure I did that right. 226 is when I started these in the paper towel. Looks like the majority of them sprouted, didn't they? Again, this is the green, solid green one, pink flower. Wow, that is really cool, isn't it? It's not a hard process. Very simple to do. Much easier than putting them in dirt first paper towel method works so you know this way you know what you got look at that nice one right there pretty neat healthy looking too can have you watch me here plant these little guys look at that isn't that the coolest little thing look at the healthy roots I'm just gonna make a nice indention in there carefully put the soil around and then these guys I'm just gonna water them in really well as you can see, the other one's done well. And these should too, but I do got to pay close attention to keeping them moist. I do. That is something you guys need to make sure that you uh, watch too. These are under lights, 16 hours indoors, and 8 off, and they've been doing pretty good. So I just wanted to share you. I'm going to plant this very last one. Going to get these all planted. You know, and I might have an update later on on them. Uh, but we'll just see. We'll just see how they do. I'm probably going to move them outdoors when our, our night's frost are done. Which hopefully will be, might be six weeks yet. So, just wanted to share that. As you can see, look at those little guys. They should go really good in these six packs. They should do really well. And there shouldn't be no problems. One thing I want to stress is these are the variegated. I'm just going to kind of see. These could change as they grow. And if anybody knows if they do come true to uh, the parent plant, let me know. Like in many, many seeds, they normally, a lot of them will not come true. But it will be fun to see what we get anyway. So there we have 24 more green with pink flowers calla lilies. We have more here that I planted. These are, there's a green ones and a, and a variegated. And over here is some more variegated. 
do you think I have enough cow lilies? I'd, I would say so. So that was fun. I mean, it was something new and always fun to try new things. So I encourage you guys all to do it and just kind of watch your water and watering on these. They do like moisture. So, and they're doing, you know, pretty well as long as they're, you know, they're kept moist. So we'll see how they do in the future. Okay, guys, I'm going to give you an update on the calla lilies. These are the ones planted on February 26, 2013. Look how big they've gotten. Aren't they doing well? I wanted to show you one. This was from the variegated seed. And this one here, that's either some variegation or it could also be a sign of something else. But don't they look good? It's very cool that they've grown this well. These are the very first ones I planted back in February. So pretty pleased with how they're doing. This will be my last update and then maybe I'll show them to you later on once I plant them out. Here's the ones I planted on April 1st, 2013. They're doing really well. So thanks Bernard. Make sure you go to his channel. I'll have that on here. Um, check out his video. He's got some good stuff going on and he was very generous to share these with me and it's again a, a plant I've never grown before it's from seed or either even from a plant I haven't grown them so it's exciting to grow new plants to see how they do and so far they're doing excellent here down in my grow room so this will be the last last update probably until maybe I uh, grow them out in pots or grow them outside they cannot winter here so I'd have to bring them in but it like it said it takes up to might take up to three years to bloom from seed but you never know things surprise you sometimes you guys take care we'll see ya on the next video thanks a lot bye